welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you have not subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and god bless biafra is a fake buari wept as gullible nigerians discovered fulani deceptions that mazen amdekano had revealed through Radio Biafra before he was kidnapped and illegally extradited into Nigeria. The former Imo state governor, Emeka Ihedioha, is grabbing land in Biafran land of Imo states for his Fulani terrorist masters in exchange for his political ambition. According to reports, Mazen Amdekano and IPOB had warned gullible Nigerians that Nigeria elections are fraudulent, Fulani selection process used by the Fulani Janjaweed to deceive the gullible Nigerians and take over their ancestral lands through deceptions. The presidential candidate of the Fulani Evil Political Party, APC, Bola Tinubu, was allegedly rushed off stage at the party's presidential rally in Mina on Wednesday due to poor health. The Fulani Nigerian government are planning to use him as a placeholder for the Boko Haram leader, who is his vice presidential candidate, Shetima. Shetima loves Boko Haram so much that he was defending them and is still defending them everywhere. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government is using the Sikh drug lord, Bola Tinubu, to deceive our Yoruba brothers and sisters. Fake Buhari and Fulani Janjaweed have concluded plans on how to deceptively Take Southwest ancestral land because of gullible Nigerians who are busy attacking Biafrans, whom are not their enemies, and they are partying and celebrating with their real enemies, the Fulani terrorists and Janjaweed, who are ships in wolf's clothing. The former Lagos state governor, Bola Tunubu, was advised to rest that Tuesday evening after he made an appearance at the North West Zone Rally held at the Amadu Belo Stadium, Kaduna, thus delaying his arrival in Mina until Wednesday. However, when he was ushered to the stage to speak in a monitored live telecast. The APC flag bearer could only shout the party's name several times in a slow and incoherent manner. Yet, his deceptive and urchin spokesman, Dele Alake, denied that his party flag bearer was rushed out of rally ground based on poor health issue that everyone saw. This Alake and his brother Ononuga, the Orchins, the Fulani Janjaweed, are using to deceive Bola Tunubu and gullible Nigerians in their fake one Nigeria. The only genuine solution to cure the problems, to solve the problems in the zoo called Nigeria is the total disintegration of Nigeria. The Fulani Nigerian Minister of Aviation, a Fulani Janjaweed terrorist, Hadi Serika, boasted and bragged that Fulani politicians in Buhari's home state, Casina State, have stolen enough government money to rig elections in the ruling APC.
party favor despite having over 75 percent of nigerians living in casino states living below poverty line they cannot feed even one square meal they cannot one meal a day they can't afford it even the notorious fulani gingerweed smuggler Alahaji Dahiru Mangal was given a Niger Republic highest national award for supporting the Fulanization agenda of fake Buhari's government and helping the Fulani terrorists to enter into Nigeria to terrorize Nigeria for the Fulani agenda. But all their plans has failed. The J Republic will pay dearly for this. They will pay dearly. You know, IPOB has accused the former Imo State Governor, Emeka Ihedioha, of planning to forcefully take over some part of Umu Ekwenu community in Imo State and give to the Fulani terrorists. Pila Hesman in exchange for their support in 2023 elections. The community is in Ungokwala, local government area of Imo State. IPOB also accused the former governor, Ihedioha, of planning to hand over the land to Fulani terrorist Killer Hesman for the establishment of Ruga. Ruga is a Fulani word for human settlement and can also be interpreted as the acronym for rural grazing area, which the Fulani Janjaweed coined in order to deceive the gullible. Ruga meant the real meaning of Ruga is human settlement, not rural grazing area. You know, the deceptive proposal by Buhari Impostor's administration to resolve conflict between nomadic and Fulani Janjaweed and sedentary farmers. It was, however, widely rejected in southern Nigeria. This ha was the reason why Buhari started the genocide agenda in southeast region of Nigeria. Ihedion has planned to give the Biafran land to Fulani Killer Hesman as a political compensation to, to secure the Fulani Nigerian government's support to achieve his governorship ambition. IPOB urged Ihedion to withdraw his court case with the community over the said land or be ready to face the consequences. It is pathetic that the Mecca Hedion can only use his powers and connections as given him by the zoo government to intimidate the people of Umu Ekwenu in Ngogwala over the ancestral land. He wants to give it as a gift to Fulani terrorist killer headsmen for political compensation. It is an affront for a Mecca Hedion dragging the entire Umu Ekwenu community to court over a landed property after converting an NDDC supposed project for the Umu Ekwenu's community to his personal farm in the same community that he can manipulate justice in his favor. The plan of Emeka Hindiha is to dubiously get the ancestral land from the community and later give it to his Fulani slave masters for Ruga in exchange for political support for his Imo state governorship position. Honorable Emeka Hedioha have only one option, and that is to withdraw the case from the court and go and settle the matter traditionally with his mother's people before the good people of Ngopwala declares him an abominable grandchild. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. 
and bye-bye for now. And God bless Biafra. Is say.